power over everything. That's why we can capture any animal. We can subdue any material. We can take brick and mortar and build that right there. Right? We can trap any animal. I don't care how fierce it is. Damn great white shark. A damn killer whale. What else you got? A lion, a bear. They in zoos. And who put them there? Us. Man, the dominion because the power is with the men. Right? Watch this. 27. Eight. So God created man in his own image. Now when it says, so God created man in his own image, is that talking about the most high or is that talking about the Allah the powers? The powers, the, powers, the Alpha and Omega, the word, Yahweh Shah, right? Come on. In the image of Yah, Allah uh -huh. created he him. Go ahead. Male and female. Male and female, right? Come on. Created he them. Go ahead. I want the rest of that right there. And Allah blessed them uh -huh. and, and said unto them, Come on. Be fruitful and multiply Go ahead. and replenish the earth uh -huh. and subdue it. And what? And subdue it. Come on. And have dominion over the fish of the sea right. and over the fowl of the air Come on. and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So that's a testament to the Most High. That's a testament to Yahweh Shah, giving that dominion, being the first and the last. Remember, lo, I come in the volume of the book. Give me Jeremiah 31. Give me Hebrews 8 and 8. Let me show you another promise. Matter of fact, you give me Romans 9. Right? I'm already there. You, you know what I want? What did you want out of Romans 9? Give me Romans 9. Start it. No, it's like it. Start it at uh, verse 4. Let me show you something, brother. Because this, this whole thing is about what? What people is this book about? What people is this book about? What people? What nation of people? Oh, oh, yeah, the, Israelites. the Israelites, right? Yeah. So what we got to do, we got to go into the book. We got to see what the Most High told us about from the beginning with the Alpha. The person that's going to come back and redeem us out of this condition, right? Where we at? Right here. The person that's going to redeem us out of that is the Omega, right? So watch this right here. Give me Romans 9. Yeah, start at verse 3. Watch this. This book of Romans 9 and verse 3. Come on. For I could wish that myself were a curse for whom I uh -huh. For my brother. For who? For my brother. So we are here for our brother. You are our brother. Right? Come on. My kinsman. Who? My kinsman. My kinfolk. Right? Auntie. Right? Big Shirley. Right. right? Come on. According to the flesh. According to the flesh. It didn't say according to the spirit, did it? It said according to the flesh. Watch this. Who are Israelites? Well, who? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Now watch this. Come on. To whom pretend of the adoption? The what? The adoption. The adoption, meaning we were fatherless children, right? We went against the Most High. We went against our power. So the Most High put us in what? He put us in slavery. He put us in subjection. We become a bastard nation. We didn't have a father, right? So that adoption means you go get the kid, you fill out the paperwork, right? And then that kid come home with you, and then you just adopted what? You was adopted son. That's what he's doing back to our nation. You you be getting a part of the adoption right now. That belongs to you as an Israelite, right? That's one promise. Come on. And the glory. And what? And the glory. Give me Revelations 21, 12. Let me show you the glory. You know what the glory is? What's the glory, King? Uh, Christ, right? Let me show you. Let me show you. Give me Revelations 21, 12. Right? Watch this. And had a wall great and high. What are we talking about right now, King? King. What's your, what's your name, King? Uh, what's your name? Mike. Mike, all right. What are we talking about right now? Read it again. And had a wall great and high. And had a wall great and high. Come on. And 12 gates. How many gates? And 12 gates. What are we talking about right now, brother? Talking about the heaven. Talking about the kingdom of heaven, right? Yeah. Read that part again, what you had in the what? In the glory. And the glory. The glory is the kingdom of heaven, right? Come on. And are at the gates 12 angels. It's 12 angels at the gates. Come on and names written thereon, on. which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. See that? So that's a promise that's made. But remember, how are we going to get to that? 
until the Omega comes and fulfills this promise to give us rulership over who? The other nations. That's another promise. I'm going to prove it to you. Watch this. Come on. And the covenant. And what? And the covenant. The old covenant and the new covenant. Give me Jeremiah 31. You give me Hebrews. Amen. Watch this right here. I want Jeremiah 31. I want, I want the Old Testament first because I want to show you the correspondence of going back and get that, that milk in the Old Testament and getting that new milk in the New Testament. That good wine, right? That gospel, right? Watch this. Jeremiah 31. And, let me see. Yeah, 31, 31. Right? Jeremiah 31. Yeah, come, come. Behold, the days come. The days what? The days come, come on. said Yahweh. Come on. That I will make a new covenant. A what? A new covenant. What are we talking about, Brother Mike? That new covenant that was promised to who? To Israel. Right? Read that part again, what you had on there. Watch this. And the covenant. And what? And the covenant. What book you read out of? Call it and read it. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 4. Go ahead, read it down from the top. I'm going to start at three. For I wish that myself were a curse for Christ. Right. For my brother. The brother. My kinsman. The kinsman. According to the flesh. According to the flesh. Come on. Who are Israelites. We're talking about the Israelites. Come on. To whom pretended the adoption. We just went over the adoption of sons. Come on. And the glory. And the glory of the kingdom of heaven. And the covenant. And what? And the covenant. What are we talking about right now? The covenant. The covenant. We're reading it in the Old Testament. Read that. The new covenant. The what? The new covenant with who? With the house of Israel. With the who? With the house of Israel. With the house of Israel. Come on. And with the house of Judah. That's the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. All 12 tribes. Right? You see that? Let me get it in the New Testament to blame me back off of that. See, this is the whole volume in the book. Right? Come on. Hebrews 8 and 8. Right? For finding fault with them. For finding fault with them. Watch what it say. He saith, Behold, the days come, uh -huh. saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with, with the house of Israel. With who? With the house of Israel. The same northern kingdom, come on. And with the house of Judah. And with the house of Judah. Come on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. You see that? Now who led us out of the hand of Egypt? Yeah. Right? That's talking about the Old Testament. Yeah. Elder. Elder, real quick, grab me Deuteronomy 101. I'm gonna show you, we're we gonna chop it all the way up. Yes. You're gonna leave here today with full understanding that this book is talking about us, yeah. right? And we're gonna go back and forth. You gotta go with it. Here a little bit, a little bit. Right. right, gotta sprinkle a little bit from the old, right? Get a little from the new, jump in the pocket for real quick. What's that? Constantine. Yeah, All right, so now say. we can jump into that. Which, which you, let me hit this real quick. Let me let me hit this on for you, and then we can jump into Constantine. We can get some history out on that. Come on, watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter one and verse one. All right. These be the words which Moses spake. Who? Which Moses spake? Moses spake who? Unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel on this side of Jordan uh -huh. in the wilderness. In where? In the plain over against the Red Sea. What was the Red Sea at? Coming out of Egypt, right? right. So what did we just read in Hebrews 8 and 8? The same thing, right? Now, according to the covenant when I made with Moses, when I took them out of the, hand, out of the land of Egypt, right? So now, let me finish this. I want to hit this home for you. Finish that Romans 9. Oh, you good, kid. Right? Because I want to make sure that you get that full understanding. And see, when you get into Constantine, you get into Constantinople, you get into some of the uh, diatribes that they had in, the, in Europe, Romania, you got to know a little bit of history to go along with that, right? Because a lot of times people will misconstrue things like, like something like King James was a so-called white man, all right? But when we go into the history, go to the archaeology, we can clearly see that King James was a so-called black man. He came from the Swartz family, right? Swarthy means dark skin, right? Let me show you that. Watch this. All right, verse four. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption right. and the glory and the covenant uh -huh. and the giving of the law and what? And the giving of the law. Who was the law given to? Israel. Law was given to the Israelites, right? Yeah. Watch this right here. So the law is what? The commandments, right? So we read that in Romans nine. Watch this right here. Give me, um, give me Revelation twenty-one, real quick. Let me show you Revelation twenty-one. So I'm trying to go back and forth so you can see that correlation. We already know that Moses spoke to the Israelites. We just got that, right? Yeah. He gave us a law. He gave us what we could do and what we could I not do. I can hear you, bro. Yeah. What's this? No, it's all good. Yeah. 
probably leave. I should have brought mine. Right? Watch this right here. Give me 21 and um No no 22 and it's not like 21. My hands roll like a <laughs> Get it, boom. My man on the scene, boy, with the warmest. Get this flip. That boy on the scene with the one and one. The spirit. Right? Let me get a 22 and 14. Yeah, yeah. Let me get 22, 14. Watch this. This is Revelation 22 and 14. Right? Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are who? Blessed are they that do his commandments. How are you blessed, brother? By doing his commandments, right? Go ahead. He ain't come to change none of that. Right. But guess what? Those prophecies, there's prophecies in the Old Testament that's supposed to happen that Christ ain't fulfilled yet. That's how we know we still got to keep that law. Right? Right. right. Drop what you got. Give me one more one. Go ahead. Yep. That they may have right to the tree of life. That they have right to the tree of life. Right. And may, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Now, how many gates is it? Twelve. And who's written on that? Israelites. Israelites, brother. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Well, watch this right here. Give me that Baruch 4 and 1. Watch this. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God, right? Remember in the Alpha Omega, what was Christ's first commandment? What was his first job? To do what? Create man in the image of the Most High. So if you have to have the image of the Most High, you also got to go by His what? His commandments, right? Go ahead. And the law that endured forever. They said Christ came to do away with the law. That's what they said. That's what they said, right? And the law said. that what? Do it, endure it forever. How long the laws of God last? How long the laws of God last? Forever. forever. So can forever. you eat that pork? Can you shave that beard? Can you have that ball smooth? Uh, what that? What's up? Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah, Michael Jordan. Now you got that Brian McKnight. Yeah. <laughs> that Brian McKnight, right? Yeah, right. You, can't, you can't have that, because the Most High said don't do that. Right? That's a heathen custom, right? All they that keep it shall come to life. But watch this. All they that keep it shall come to life. So when you start keeping the laws of the Most High, right? You got your beard growing, right? You out here doing the work. You got your fringes on, right? The women dress modest, right? That's coming to life. Because you understand your purpose according to the Bible, right? What the Most High require of you. But well, watch this. But such as leave. Now, will you know this and then you leave this? But and such that leave it shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Scare him again. Shall what? Shall die. Shall die. That's that's clear cut. Go ahead. Finish that up. More. Turn thee, O Jacob. Turn thee, O Michael. Come on. Turn thee, O Jacob, right. and take hold of it. You got to take hold of this thing now, right? Come on. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, Come on. that thou mayest be illuminated. So that light bulb can go off in your head. What, are your, what is your purpose? What are you here for? Right? Come on. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are honorable unto thee, to a strange nation. Don't give away your power to these other heathens, these other nations, right? Because they don't care about you. They don't. They, their whole purpose is to keep you here. Right. If they can keep you here, they can always. If they can keep you in sin, they can always put you in, in slavery, brother. And now, and now, right? And now, this is a mental. It's a mental thing, brother, right? Because our people. Guess what our people want to say? They want to say love everybody. And then now that transitions over to the religions, man. What religion did the Most High give us? What religion did the Most High give us? He didn't give us no religion. He gave us commandments. Right? He, he didn't give us no religion. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and give me verse 58. Deuteronomy 28 and 58. Let me show you this right here. Right? Deuteronomy 28 and 58. Let me show you this right here. Because Constantine is credited, right, with, with Christianity. Right? But what about... What if, if I told you Constantine was an Israelite? What if I told you Constantine looked like you? What if I told you Constantine was wicked? What if I told you he was a ruler in the Holy Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire? Not the Roman Empire who slayed our, our Savior, Yahweh Shah. See, that's a lot of the history that our people don't know. So I'm saying? Right. 
Well, well, the centurions were the military commanders that ruled over a flock or a, a regiment of a hundred men, right? So the word century means a hundred. So a centurion would be the commander of a hundred men. So in today's term, that would be like your lieutenant, your captain. The man, the man under him would be the man that holds a coat of arms. He would be equivalent to your sergeant, right? Or your corporal, your lance corporal, your E4, your E5. Something like that, you see what I'm saying? So all that military might and structure goes back to that. You see what I'm saying? It goes all the way back to the ancient times, right? And they got that from us. They got this in the book. So what we doing right here, we in camp. It's camps in the Bible. When they go to war, was they, was they getting reservations at the hotel? No, they started a camp. Hey man, build a tent. Y'all come over here, y'all get the pot. You go grab some firewood. Y'all go kill some deer, some venison, right? Where the veggies at, bring them in. Where the wine at, right? Set the tables up. We're gonna have camp. Captains of 50, captain of 100. I need captains of 1,000. I need generals over here, commanders over here. And I need y'all on the perimeter blowing the trumpet. That's in the Bible, right? But see what Constantine did, he did what was prophesied. They mixed idols, right? Because the Holy Roman Empire right, was the last stance of what was known as the Roman Empire, right, when you go into like Caligula, right, people like that, right, Caesar, those was wicked devils of Edomite stock, right, I think I got a book, man, hold on. Yeah, yeah, he pulled Caligula and Nero out, that's <laughs> wicked. Can I leave that mug at the house, man, I hope I ain't leave that mug at the house. Change, change the thing. That's where y'all have your meeting? Look at the house. Right, you in the meeting right now? I mean, yeah, this is it right here. We be here uh, every right. Saturday. Hey, you got a car? Services. Give him a car. This is it right here. Oh, this hey, right. we we have a, a call on Fridays. Okay. It's All right. a number on that. You hey, do me a favor, Judy. And you can listen I want you to ask read. any question you want. Uh, I want you to read right there. That orange right there. I got that book too. Watch this right here. Call, call, uh, let them know where we're reading from. This, this book, uh, Who is Esau Edom by Charles Wiseman. And this is going to be able to show you, we're going we're gonna to bridge the gap. Esau Edom? Yeah, Esau, Esau Edom. Right, I have another book um, called Rome, Roman Empire, the, the Empire of the Edomites. <laughs> Do you all got that here? No. I left mine at the house, man. Wait a minute, I might have mine. If you guys do it, say we, that, that'll, 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 we're going to try to tie the bridge with this and with scripture to show you that Constantine was just an Israelite that fell off, right? And introduced some of these pagan customs into what we know as being Israelites. He introduced us to these things. That's why I'm going to show you this curse in the book of Deuteronomy. Watch this right here. Read that orange part. Uh, from the book of who is Esau Edom. Uh -huh. Thus, at the juncture of time, uh -huh. the Edomites were then incorporated with the Jewish nation. Read that part again. Were then incorporated with the Jewish nation. See, they brought all them pagan idols and stuff here. Esau, right? Everything contrary to the Bible, everything contrary to the Hebrew way of life, everything contrary to the laws of God. Esau coming in, he want to show, he want to show out. He want to show us something new, right? Go ahead. That's like it. And their country was called by the Greeks and Romans I do me. It was called by who? By the Greeks and the Romans. I do me. Now, who's the Greeks and the Romans? What what, what nation of people is that? Uh, from the Roman Empire. And who were the Roman Empire? What they look like? Yeah, white people. White folk. Yeah. Esau. Okay. Esau, the red man, right? right. Alexander the Freaks, yeah. right? Come on. Uh, Mark three eight. Uh huh. Uh, Ptolemy geography, uh, I think it's verse 16, Mark, uh, I don't know what that's in. Yeah, that, that, that's, a, uh, that's a source. That's a reference, Salaki. Um, but the tide turned in favor of the Edomite faction uh -huh. when Julius Caesar. When who? When Julius Caesar. Another Edomite, Julius Caesar, right? Didn't I just say him? Caesar, Caligula, right? The Romans, come on. Made Antipater, uh -huh. an Edomite uh, procreator, of Judea. Of who? Of Judea. Where are we from? Judah. Judah. Judea. Right, come on. In 46 BC. Come on. When Antip Antipater was killed four years later, uh -huh. his son Herod gained power, but was rejected by the Judites. He was what? Rejected by the Judites. So initially, we don't want to have nothing to do with them. 
because we knew that they was going off against the Most High. And before, and before the Romans set up, we had to deal with the Greeks, right? So you know the story of the Maccabees, right? The story of the Maccabees, we went to war with who? The so-called white man, Alexander the Freak and them, his four generals. They slayed us for eating, for not eating pork. Right? In 2 Maccabees, when you go into that, uh, uh, seven men, seven brothers was killed in front of their mom. Right? Eleazar, Matthias, right? All these brothers went to war with the so-called white men. Right? They were zealous for the most high. But we rejected this. We rejected this. We went to war with them. Right? Come on. Khan, uh, where was he at? I don't look at it. Okay. When, Antip uh, when Antipater was killed four years later, his son Herod gained power but was rejected by the Judites. Now who put out the decree to kill the firstborn sons in Judea? Herod. Herod. Yeah. See that? Right. He would, see that's, that's, there you're starting to see the bridge of how the, the, the so-called Edomites, right? And their pagan customs tried to influence the Jewish culture or the Hebrew culture, right? And they put a, 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 a evil king named Herod to control the people in Judea. Remember, he put out the decree to kill who? The Messiah, right? Come on. Uh, Herod truly gained the support of Rome. See, he gained the support of Rome, right? Come on. With a Roman army at his who? With a Roman army. What is the Romans known for? War. That army, war, yeah. conquest, murder, rape. Come on. With a Roman army at his heels, he returned to Palestine. Mm -hmm. And after a six month siege, he captured Jerusalem. He did what? He captured Jerusalem and became king of Judea. And became king of Judea in 37 BC. You see that? 37 years before Christ. So, so you see the correlation. So now when Constantine rises on the scene, this, this Roman Empire is no longer here. Constantine is the head of the Holy Roman Empire, controlled by Israelites. That's when we went into Europe for a thousand years. See what I'm saying? Which is known as also the Dark Ages. Right? This right here is who was Esau Edom. At one time, this book, they had it on sale for like a thousand and something dollars, man. On, on sale for like a thousand dollars. And then they dropped it because we was we was making us such a big press. Like, why y'all, you know, blocking us from... Yeah, they were trying to show this. They were trying to hide this issue. I just got that book. I got yeah. Ago. Right. That's that. Who is Esau? Edom. Right. So Constantine, getting back to Constantine, Constantine took some of those same customs, right? Those same things like eating the swine, setting up the church, all those things like that came from Constantine because Constantine wanted to get along with everybody. He had that. He had that MLK spirit. Can we all just get along? Can we just live in peace? But the most I said, you got to be separate from them. You can't marry them. You can't be around them. The scripture said, be ye therefore separate. Right? Now watch this right here. Give me that Deuteronomy 28. Right, Deuteronomy 28, and I want to say 58. Right? Let me show you something. This is what Constantine did. All this is prophesied. Right? All this is prophesied. Let me see if that's what I want. Deuteronomy 28. Um, yeah, come on, watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 58. Uh -huh. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law. You see that? If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law. Come on. That are written in this book. Uh -huh. That thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name. Uh -huh. the Yahweh thy power. Uh -huh. Then the Yahweh will make thy plagues wonderful. Uh -huh. And thy plagues of thy seed even great plagues. You see that? And that affects us even until this day. Right? Come on. And of long continuance and sore sickness and of long continuance. Uh -huh. See that? So everything that the Most High said was going to come upon us happened to us. So these religions, the word religion means to hold back. It comes from the Greek word religio. Alright? When you go into the word religio, that means to hold back. Right? Confine and restrain. That's what the word religion means. No, Christianity is, is absolutely that because that was given to you during this time. What were they doing to you? They were holding you back. They were confining you, right? And they were restraining you while also stripping your dignity, your heritage, right? What is your heritage? Let me ask you that. It was supposed to be Israel. 
That's your heritage. All right, let's see here. You know what I want. You already know what I want. All right? Let me show you something, man. This is your heritage, man. Give me uh, Judy 5 real quick. Give me this real quick. Sirach, or Ecclesiastes, um, chapter 26, and verse... Now give me 11, go to 11 real quick. The book of what? So our uh, Ecclesiastes is in the Apocrypha. Yeah, okay. okay. It's over here. I know it's over here. Okay. Hold on, like that. I got it in mind. I got it in mind. Well, uh, there you go. Because I want to show you this, brother. I want to show you something. Yeah, 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 right there. Hold that, hold that, right there. What we, can, we, can, we, can, we can use this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 17. 17. 17. 11. 17 and 11. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He did what? He gave them knowledge. So he's always given us knowledge, man. Right? Come on. And the law of and life. And what? And the law of life. The law of life. What is this Bible, brother? What is this book? Law of life. The laws of life is this Bible, right? Come on. For inheritance. For what? For inheritance. Go ahead. He made an everlasting covenant with them uh -huh. and showed them his judgment. You see that? The, their eyes saw the majesty of his glory and their ears heard his glorious voice. You see that? So you're hearing the glorious voice of the Most High. Your heritage is the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Right? So that's something that we have to do. Right? So anytime that we go against this, what happens to us? Right? What? No, go ahead, King. Go ahead. Because this was outside of the old Old Testament. If you want to, if you want to be technical, right? Because this apocrypha was taken out by the Protestant Church, right? This was the period in between the Old Testament and the New Testament. But this, what he just had me read, is kind of still showing the validity of the Old Testament and the books outside of it. Because let's just read it one more time. It says, uh, verse eleven. But besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance, right? He made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments. Here's the point. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory, right? And their ears heard the glorious voice. Uh -huh. Right? And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. Be what? Beware of all unrighteousness. Like Constantine giving us unrighteousness. Remember, the brother just hit you with something. Hold that real quick. He hit you with that Protestant church. Remember the Protestant and Catholic Church came out of the Holy Roman Empire. There was just two factions fighting within the same religion. And that's what I was saying. Joseph, you see that? Josephus, he, he reconstructed some of the uh, New Testament. Josephus was a historian though, right? Right. But was Josephus one of the 12? No, he wasn't. Josephus gave accounts, right? But Josephus is not one of the the canonical brothers who was with the Most High. Right. Son, yeah, I was shot. Yeah, right. He wasn't with them, but he was a real man. Yeah. He walked the earth, right? Right. Just yeah. the same the same way we can we know that Yahweh was real. Because how is time measured? Yeah, through him. <laughs> through him. Before he was born and after he died. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Those are simple things. And people are like, well, no, I don't know if he was he's alive. He was, I don't know if he walked the earth. What you mean? <laughs> they got all this history here because they don't want us to know. We are the biggest case of identity theft in human civilization. Right? right? I want to show you this. Finish that out, King. Watch this. Uh, well, yeah, third, uh, what was that, 14? Yes. Um, Come on, bring that. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. Uh -huh. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Uh -huh. The ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. See that? The ways are ever before you and shall not be hid from his eyes. Now watch this right here. Can I get a point before you go to Yeah, 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 good. The point of me getting this was, when does this happen? This happened in Deuteronomy. When Moses gave uh, the commandments to the children of Israel and they saw that smoke coming from that mountain. So it's kind of still showing the point that he was, what you was asking, he's been proving this whole time, that the, the Apocrypha, which is in the original 1611 Bible, mm -hmm. the whole, was it, 80 books? Right, right. right? Show, show, show. Hey, uh, yeah, I got one. You got a 1611? Yeah, so you know that the Apocrypha is in there, yeah. right? Go ahead. So what I was basically saying is you got the Old Testament, how they, how they made it. The Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament, the, 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 the Apocrypha is still proving the Old Testament 
And the New Testament is proving the Apocrypha and the Old Testament. So it's still going to his point. Watch this right here. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up because the Old Testament ends in what book? If you just say the Old Testament ends, what's the last book of the, the so-called Old Testament? It's not Michael, but it's uh, Malachi, Malachi, right? What's the first book of the New Testament? Right? If who was ruling, we just read it in the book, the history book, right? Who was ruling Judea during the time of Christ? What nation was ruling? It wasn't us. We was conquered by somebody. Who was that? Yeah, we was conquered by the Greeks. By, uh, no. Christ. Was Christ oppressed by the Greeks? Who came after the Greeks? The Romans. The Romans, yeah. right? But now, if you just had just a regular KJV Bible, right? If you just had this and it was not in 1611, that history between Malachi and Matthew, the New Testament, the history between the end of the Persian reign, the beginning and the end of the Persian reign, all the way to the Greeks, that's not in your standard KJV Bible. See that? Nah, nah. So that's why we tell our people, you, you gotta, you gotta get the 1611, and you have to. If if you can't get the 1611, you have to get the KJV with the apocrypha in it. I want to show you something too, man. I got, I got one. You gotta, you gotta. I just want a standard, just KJV real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this right here? All right, open it up to the first page. I'm glad you got that. Open that up to the first page. Let me show you something, brother. Watch this. Come here real quick. Come here real quick. Um, open it up to the preface. Preface. First page. First page. Right there. Read what that say. It says, the Holy Bible authorized King James Version. Read it again. Authorized King James Version. Authorized King James Version, right? Yeah. Go back. One more. Right. Yeah. All right, this is the Apocrypha. Translated out of the original tongues. What was the original tongues? The Hebrew. That's how we know that the Apocrypha matches with this. So if you don't have the Apocrypha to go within that, you don't have the full understanding. You're missing about 400 years of history of your of your people. Right? You see that? I got his argument over there too. Right? I wanted to show it to him. Right, right. Yeah, bring it out, bring it out. This is the, uh, this is the prologue to Sarat or Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. This is the prologue to Sarat or Ecclesiastes, right? Uh -huh. Here's the prologue, it says, Wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention, uh -huh. and attention to pardon us wherein we may seem to have come short of some words uh -huh. which you have labored to interpret. For the same things uttered in Hebrew. Read that part again. For the same things uttered in Hebrew. That's why we call ourselves Hebrew. Language, Israelites, nationality. We are Hebrew Israelites. That's our language, right? Come on. And translate it into another tongue. And do what? And translate it into another tongue. What's another name for tongue? Languages. Not, I'm going to come on the I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to swear to pray right. That ain't got nothing to do with the, that ain't got nothing to do with the scripts. That's what Constantine and your slave master gave you. Right? Come on. Have not the same force in them. See that? So when we gotta read this thing in English, it don't have the same, it don't have the same power. When you say God, right, that could be that's just a title. But when you say Yahweh, that's his name. It's more power in that. When you say the Savior, right? When you say Jesus, right? Like that church over there, Jesus. We say Yahweh Shah. So I'm saying whole nother level of power that comes with when you speak in the Paleo, right? The ancient Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash, the holy tongue versus speaking the translation or the language in which our oppressors gave us. The only reason why me and you speak in English right now because our forefathers was conquered by the British. You see what I'm saying? And they whipped it out of it. And they whipped, they, whipped, they whipped our nationality, our laws of God like we just read in Sirach 17. They whipped that out of us and gave us a doctrine of devils, right? And religion to hold us back, confine us and restrain us, right? You got that song, Melvin? Yeah, I want to show, show him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. See, this is the 1611 right here. Right. I'm going to let you look at it. And you can see that the Apocrypha was actually in there. And the Protestant movement, they took it out. Mm -hmm. and they took it out for a reason. Because like he was saying, that Greek history, 
That's the tell all be all right there. Mm -hmm. That Greek history. That Greek history. Now watch this right here. When you go into the apographer, you can see all the major historical people that came throughout the Middle East and throughout the ancient world. You got you got who are the Xerxes, right? You got um you got Nicanor, right? You got um A Cleopatra in there, right? Julius Caesar, just showing, just showing them a little um, preface, right? Julius Caesar's in there. So if we could take that part out, right? And if I just hit you with, you know, if I just hit you with a name like Eglon, you'd be like, who's Eglon, right? But I can show you that Eglon is who the world knows as Buddha today. See that? He's a fat Moabite. That was a glutton that had us in slavery. But the so-called Moabite or the, or, the, or the Chinese man called him Buddha. You see that? So this book is about the history of the Israelites, right? And in our encounters with the other nations. You see that? That's why we're able to go through it and give these other nations their history. This is a history book, right? You got that? Yeah, give me that Judah 5. Yep. You want to start from earlier in the book? So it's an no, no, no. I want, I want to do the, yeah, do the five and start at verse. Yep. Watch this. Is the book Judah chapter five? Because I wanted to show you something, man. When we get into religion and we get into all these doctrines and anything outside of what the Most High gave us, there's a certain thing that happens, and these other nations know this. Give me Psalms eighty-three. You know what I want, right? Watch this right here. This is the book of. Judah chapter 5 and verse 17. Watch this, brother. And whilst they sin not before their power. You see that? While we sin not before their power, right? That's a possessive pronoun. Their power, their God, right? Come on. They prosper. They what? They prosper. What are we going to do? They prosper. We will prosper, right? Come on. Because the God that hated iniquity was God that hated iniquity. Not look, not hate the sin, but hate the sinner and all that. I know you're going to get that. Goodness, I, right? I think that's around 11. 12 and 6, I think. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Right there. This is Sirach chapter 12 and verse 6. Listen to this. For the most high hated sinners. No, he loved everybody. Hated sinners. No, he just hate the sin, but you okay when you go when you go off and do the sin. Right. For the most high hated sinners. The most high ha hate sinners. Right? And what else? And we will pay vengeance. And what? And we will pay vengeance. You want to see the vengeance of the most high come upon dying head? No, it can't. No. Yeah, we don't Come on. And we'll pay vengeance unto the ungodly. And to who? Unto the ungodly. When you go in the midst of sin and you get away from the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, you become what? Ungodly. You become ungodly. You become that bastard that get his back beat in. Mm -hmm. Right? Come on. And keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. And the Most High gonna set you up with something real nice. Facts. He gonna set you up with something real nice. To let you know you are nothing and I am everything. And you're going to call on my name. It's just a matter of time. Right? You're going to call on the name of the Most High. But in that day, it's going to be too late. It's over for thou. Right? Watch this right here. Jump back over there, Judah. Hold your precept, King. Bring this, Judah. Judah 5 and 17. Right? And whilst they sin not before their power, they prosper. They what? They prosper. Come on. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. He was with us. Right? Come on. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them. Read that again. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them. What happened? They were destroyed. They were what? They were destroyed. What are we? They were destroyed. 2,000 plus years later. Destroyed. We are destroyed as a people. Why? Because we departed from the ways that he gave us. Right, come on. In many battles, very sore. And not only to mention how we destroy mentally, the most high is telling us, I'm gonna let them whoop your ass. Read that. But when they departed from the way that he appointed them, uh -huh. they were destroyed. So like they were destroyed in many battles, very sore. Now look at us, man. Look at us as a people, man. We're stronger than us, man. We're faster than us. On the battlefield, you see the boxes? You see us out there fighting? That's black, Hispanic, Native, the Dominicans, right. Haitians, Cubans. You don't want no smoke with the Negroes, That's right. right? But we was able to get put into slavery. Why? Because we went against the laws of the Most High, right? Come on. Uh, and led captives into a land that was not there. And what? And was led captive into a land that was not there. And we were led captive into a land that was not ours. Come on. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground. And our temples were destroyed. That's why we have Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication. 
Because these heathens trampled over our kingdom. They trampled over our heritage and our customs and our temples. Right? Come on. And their cities were taken by the enemy. And our cities were what? Taken by the enemy. What we just read about yeah. in the history book. Our cities were taken by the enemies. Come on. But now are they returned to their power. Now what? But now are they returned to their power. What are we trying to get Brother Mike to do? Return to his power. We're trying to get you to return to your power, brother. Come on. And are come up from the places where they were scattered. And we're coming up from the places we were scattered. Because guess what? I ain't know none of these brothers out here without this truth. Man. Facts. Yeah. I ain't know none of these brothers without this truth. All right. So I'm saying? So the Most High brought all these brothers together. Right? Come on. And have possessed Jerusalem, where their sanctuary is, uh -huh. and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Go ahead. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor. Now, watch this right here. He said, now, therefore, my Lord and Governor. Watch this. These other nations know what's going on with us. Watch this. If there be any error in this people, if there be any error. He didn't say some, or just a little bit, or you could just mess up one time. He said, any error in this people, talking about the Israelites, come on. And they sin against their God. And they what? And they sin against their God. And they sin against their God. So even the heathens know that God in the Bible don't love every damn body. That's right. They know that. Come on. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Let us what? Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Let us consider. Let us contemplate. Let us think about how we're going to set them up because that is going to be their ruin. Right? Come on. And let us go up. And we shall overcome them. And let us, these other heathen, these other nations come up and we shall what? Overcome them. Why are they going to overcome us, brother? Yeah. Why would they be able to overcome us? Because we all got away from his covenant. Because we got away from the covenant, the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, my it's, it's simply like that. Hold on. Let, let me get you two more. I want to I give you two more scriptures. Verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, if there be no sin in our people, watch this. Let my Lord now pass by. You better leave them black, Hispanic, and native Indian folks alone. That's right. You better leave them Israelites alone. That's right. Why? Lest the Lord defend them. Lest the Most High God, Yahweh, defends us. Come on. And their God be for them. And he be for us. And watch this. And we become an approach, reproach, Salaki. And we become a reproach before all the world. We get embarrassed and get our yeah. ass up in front of the whole world. <laughs> all praise. Right? Uh, Let me show you this real quick. Give me um I gotta get going, bro. Okay, con, con. Just just listen on the way out. Give me um Sirach, I mean, uh, give me um Ecclesiastes ten and twelve. And you no, give me twelve, thirteen, you give me Deuteronomy ten and twelve. Hey, Deuteronomy brother. ten and twelve. Listen to this, brother, on the way out. On the way out. Every Saturday, two o'clock, brother Mike, we wanna see you again, King. Right. right, right. Appreciate brother Mike coming up. Appreciate brother Mike coming up, man. Right. Give me Ecclesiastes. Uh, 12, 13, and you give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12, man. Right, right listen to this, brother Mike, on the way out. Listen up. Watch this. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Right. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Most I said, we got to hear the conclusion of the whole matter, man. At the end of the day, what are we out here for, man? Right? Fear God. Do what? Fear God. You got to fear God, come on, and keep his commandments. Go ahead. For this is the whole duty of man. For this is the whole duty of man. Right? Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Right. And now, O Israel. Now who? And Israel. Go ahead. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Come on. But to fear Yahweh thy power. Right. To walk in all his ways. Come on. And love and to love him. And do what? And to love him. And to love him. Come on. And to serve the Yahweh thy power with all thy heart. Uh-huh. And with all thy soul. Go ahead. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments of Yahweh uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. And that's what I wanted the brother Mike to hear, man. 